It's really brilliant that we have uh, a fresh opportunity to look at our life from the perspective of opening intelligence, which is very different from the way I used to live before meeting the training. Uh, I met the training around 10 years ago, and um, before that I was very much of a control freak. Uh, in terms of, not so much, maybe not so much externally, but internally there was, so-called internally, there was a lot of trying to tidy up <coughs> the space of my experience. Tidy up in terms of cleaning away, brushing away, or vacuuming, whatever you like to do. Uh, I, I like cleaning it, I find it relaxing. So, um, you know, tidying away all the negative experiences, oh, the negative experience, and trying to nourish the positive experiences. Now it sounds like, yeah, it, it makes complete sense, right? Like, why not? Is there something bad with that? No. It makes sense if we see ourselves as a closed intelligence. Someone who is limited to what they think and what they feel and how they look. So then it makes sense. But once we're introduced to, to opening intelligence, something shifts and changes. There's an opening of the intelligence. Our intelligence is within us. It's everywhere. And this intelligence is free of the need to describe everything in a certain way and to indulge, like we heard, indulge, avoid, or replace it. When we choose to relax for a short moment, allow everything to be as it is, then, then there is freedom in the immediacy of perception, whatever it is. Negativity, positivity, you know, neutrality, then the constant tidying up and then the accumulation of, of positive uh, thoughts and emotions or data streams, as we call in balance view, it comes to a gradual stop. Suddenly, that, it, it looks a bit strange to do it as a, as a life project. Because what are the results of that? We become better in being a control freak <laughs> and being uptight and scared, basically afraid of what will come up next. How will I wake up in the morning maybe, or what will happen in the future? And we are lacking the recognition of this innate stability that is always there regardless of the constant amazing display that we have. So the crucial juncture, the inseparability of open intelligence and data is a place of complete relaxation. And it's not a place like a point. It's everything that we experience when we recognize it in a short moment is just very freeing. It's like dropping the heavy load of trying to micromanage one's experience to the ground. It's freeing, it's fun. So I know that for a long time in my life I try, like I shared, I try to put everything in place. You know, I'm okay, I love everyone, no resentments, da da da. And after being introduced to balanced view and participating in the introductory training and taking the jump into the 12 empowerments, which is a beautiful way to see ourselves exactly as we are, very clear and direct look into all relationships, all belief systems and assumptions, then I saw, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I humbly admit that there's lots of things going on here and I'm not the kind of fairy that I thought I am. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with fairies, but when someone brought up political issues, for example, I could feel the fire, I could feel how I closed down, you know, opp opposition, opinions, all of that. Nothing is wrong with that, but if it's not recognized for what it is, then we have things like the two things I mentioned before, where the benefit of all, which is the purpose of human life, basically, and balanced view is just a, a vehicle in which we can recognize it very directly in our experience, the benefit of all is missing. Is really my human life about reaching a, an imaginary goal of mastering my thoughts and emotion and building a beautiful story about myself? Or is it utilizing all of this potency to be of benefit? And each one of us who is sitting here, we have a different style of being of benefit to all. 
a different shine, you know, we all shine equally, but the different strengths, gifts or talents that we can share with the world. Some are artists, others are great in organizing, some can do both. Others are, I don't know, dancers, whatever it is, everything can be enhanced and contributed to the greater benefit of all. And that's very exciting because a life that for me was, I always wanted to, to, to be of support and help to those I love and, and care for, but if the, the focus and the light is so much on what's going on here all of the time and not enjoying the stability in a short moment, short moment after short moment after short moment, repeated many times until it becomes continuous, then it's hard to be of service to others. And don't think about benefit as being a certain way, like we might hear spontaneous, so it's like, cool, spontaneous, <laughs> you know, like, wow, <laughs> spontaneous. And I, I think I participated in some things like that, and spontaneous, spontaneous, but <laughs> what, what's the point, you know? And oh, others might be super, like, organized, no way that anything will change, everything must be under control, because I said so, <laughs> you know? And that's my intention, I'm going for that, don't interrupt. <laughs> so that can be one approach, but in the crucial juncture, in the inseparability of spontaneous and organized or whatever seems as an extreme or opposition, we find that we can operate freely and effectively, completely responsive to each time, place and circumstance and yet have a great plan and tools to use like tasks, to-do lists, business meetings, like we organize our communities and projects, so it's inseparable. But once we have an idea about being organized in a certain way or being spontaneous, then it's locked into a data stream. Once we allow that to be, we see it naturally we, we can gain those skills in any way that we wish. But it's wonderful that we can be responsive without any agenda. Like now, you know, we woke up in the morning, decided who will do the open meeting. There wasn't a script saying, okay, smile when someone asks about this, okay, you know, it's just a complete connection and responsiveness to this here and now. That's what I see in my experience, an upgrade of my ability to be responsive and yet be even more organized than before. Even though I was organized in a way also before the training, it's much better now. Because if my organized plan is collapsing, it's not the end of my day. <laughs> it's just like, great, another opportunity to take the next direction for the benefit of all. But I'm not sitting there saying, oh, such a loser, you know, like beating myself up. I have the tool of a short moment of open intelligence, which is the greatest self-love and greatest self-empowerment and empowerment for all. You can try it right now, and I know many of you are seasoned resters, <laughs> so you are shining and you see that living a life based on the games of uh, <laughs> description is it's just a dead end, but also for those of you who are new, you have the same opportunity. And, um, and there's so much energy, there's so much vitality to do whatever needs to be done for the benefit of all. And it can sound heroic and some kind of a fairy tale for just a selected few, but it's not the case. It's for everyone. Everyone who, who cares enough to make a change, a positive change in a world that really needs it, more than ever before, it seems. So that's an opportunity. And balanced view is not just the practice of short moment, but an entire global, brilliant, social network of, of people who are uniting together, wherever they are, online or face to face in each continent, and claiming this most basic human right of education in the nature of intelligence, of saying, okay, I want to try something else and let's see how it goes. And, and then thriving in their life. So we have the practice of short moments repeated many times, and we have the mainstay of the training 
like this and the one day introductory training we'll have today and many things online. And we have the trainers who are normal people. <laughs> and many trainers in Balance View who share their own direct experience of how it was to live without recognizing open intelligence and enjoying the four mainstays and how it is now. And also, like I shared, the community of people. So these are the four mainstays that are available to each person uh, in any way that they wish. <laughs>